Widely known for their mop-like appearance, the Commodore is a loyal, dignified and brave dog with a knack for affection and protection. These dogs are easily recognizable due to their appearance that is wide cords hanging from their heads to tails. But under that wide cord fur is an intelligent, loving and protective family dog that is sure to make a good companion. The average Commodore weighs anywhere between 80 to 100 pounds or possibly more and they stand around 25 to 27 inches tall at the shoulders, while these dogs dogs have a life expectancy of 10 to 12 years. Now without further ado, let's get into the top 10 most interesting facts about the Commodores. Number 1. Their History The earliest written description of the Commodore dates back to the 16th century. However, the dog existed long before that, working to guard livestock herds in Hungary. The Commodore is believed to have descended from the Russian Ocharka, another sheepdog breed. As like many other dog breeds, the Second World War left a devastating decline in the numbers of the Commodores, to the point that the breed almost went extinct. After the war, fanciers tried to return the breed to its original numbers and save the breed from from total extinction. The American Kennel Club recognized the breed in 1937. As of today, Commodores rank 173 out of 195 other dog breeds in America, according to the AKC. Number 2. Their Working Dogs Commodores have been long used as herding dogs. They're used to protect the herd of livestock from predators. They're also used as sheep dogs to protect and guide the flock of sheep in the mountains. Even today, they're loving companions and an irreplaceable treasure to most farmers. But most recently, they're more often used as companion dogs, watch dogs, and family dogs. So these dogs are quite versatile as well. Number 3. Their coat is used as a camouflage. No, the coat of these dogs is not supposed to be mistaken for a mop to clean floors. Their coat actually plays a huge role while they keep the watch over a flock of sheep. It's easy for Commodores to blend in with the flock, which they can use to their advantage to ward off unsuspecting predators. By surprising the unsuspecting predator, Commodores can easily chase them away and save the livestock. Number 4. They're overprotective dogs. Commodores are overprotective dogs to the point that they would stare at you as you go about your day. This might pose a challenge to many people, but Commodores, well, they just enjoy nothing over watching their family, which sometimes can cross the limit. They're always on the watch, especially around strangers. Commodores will lunge at anything they perceive a threat that includes other pets and humans alike, which may lead to lawsuits dropping by your home. Their protective instinct can't be doused completely, but can be reduced to some extent with proper training. As long as you're strong-willed and confident during the training sessions, your dog can be taught to be a wonderful companion. Number 5. They don't like the company of other dogs. Commodores have complex personalities. They'll get along well with their family, be suspicious around strangers, but with other dogs, well, it is a completely different story. They're aggressive toward other dogs to the point that some can't even tolerate the presence of other dogs, no matter how hard you try to make them get along. You'll always need to be careful with your Commodore, especially around other dogs. However, with early training and socialization, this can be reduced to some extent. They still may have excellent relations with cats and livestock, though. Number 6. They're rare dogs. Even after saving the breed from near extinction following the Second World War, Commodore still is a rare dog breed. They're rare, but still unethical backyard breeders and puppy mills do breed them. It is important to never buy a dog from an irresponsible breeder. Despite the fact that Commodores are rare dogs, be sure to be patient and buy a puppy from a respectable breeder who can show you the health clearance. Number 7. They are not suited to apartment life. Commodores are playful dogs with a high demand for exercise. They need to exercise daily and are usually satisfied with two or three brisk walks or playtime in the yard. They need a large enough fenced yard to run around in, which helps to make them docile in the house. As long as they receive daily exercise and are trained not to bark excessively, they can somehow be adjusted to apartment life. Number 8. Fun training sessions are short-lived with the Commodores. During puppyhood, these intelligent dogs are easy to train, but as they grow, it becomes more difficult. Commodores are independent and somewhat stubborn. The key to training your Commodore is to make training fun for both you and your dog. Commodores also become bored easily, so make sure each training session is different from the previous one. Remember to be patient and use treats and praise rather than anger and physical punishment.
Number 9. They do not need much grooming. The common door has a wonderfully unique coat. During puppyhood, they have soft curls that grow heavy as they mature, developing into long, fet-like cords that resemble strands of a mop. Their coat does not need brushing. This does not mean that they are maintenance-free. At 8 to 12 months of age, when cords begin forming, it is essential to keep the hair clean and dry so it does not get dirty and discolored. The cords must be separated regularly to prevent matting and to remove debris or dirt. Bathing and drying your common door can however take all your day. Brush them at least 2 to 3 times a week and trim their nails once or twice a month as needed. Number 10. They're a generally healthy breed. Common doors are generally healthy, but they are subject to certain health conditions. They are mainly prone to hip dysplasia and eye problems. Also like most big dogs, they can suffer from bloat as well. Make sure to pay a regular visit to the vet and take care of your dog's diet. Alright guys, that's the end of our list of top 10 most interesting facts about the common doors. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you own a common door, we'd love to know how different or similar it is from the ones we've mentioned in the video. Please give it a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more content like this, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.